Welcome to Live Lean TV. I'm Brad Guthrie from LiveLeanTV.com. So guys, on today's episode, I'm sharing three tips to party while still living lean. But first, I know a lot of you are following our at Live Lean TV Instagram account, but if you haven't followed me yet on Instagram, my personal Instagram is at Brad Guthrie. Go do it now. In my Instagram stories, I often share how I enjoy the occasional alcoholic drink while still living lean, eating healthy, and crushing my workouts. So let's go hang out on Instagram as well. All right, so are you a party animal? Do you count down the days, the hours, and the minutes until Saturday night? So yes, even during your live lean journey, you can still enjoy Saturday nights with friends and family. Because remember guys, as a live leaner, Fitness isn't your life, it's just a part of your journey. And once again, it all comes down to making smarter choices. So for example, did you know it's not a mandatory party requirement to chug down sugar-laced cocktails, a 12-pack of beer, or eat the belly-busting chips, the cake, the hot dogs, and the macaroni salad? Sure, you can still enjoy alcohol and party snacks, but there are healthier alternatives. So simply follow these three tips and you can still party your way to a healthier body. Plus, just think how much better you're gonna feel on Sunday morning and when you wake up feeling alive, energetic, versus being bloated and lethargic. So here are your three tips to party the what the remixed healthy way. Tip number one, keep moving before and during the party. So the guys, this means getting in an awesome workout before the party. So this could include a Live Lean Afterburn style workout at the gym, an outdoor fitness boot camp, a round of golf, a game of beach volleyball, or any activity that just gets your body moving. Now, while you're at the party, don't just sit in a chair all night. One of your goals is to not make a butt impression on your seat cushion. So to accomplish this, you have to become the networking king or queen at the party by staying on your feet and moving around the room. And when possible, organize an activity like horseshoes, frisbee, darts, foosball, or ping pong. These are all fun activities that keeps your body in motion while still partying with your friends. Tip number two, avoid the belly busting foods and drinks. So you know the foods I'm talking about crackers, potato chips, the fattening dips, the sweets, the calorie packed macaroni salad, the hot dogs and the hamburger buns. In fact, most hamburgers are okay. Just avoid the white flour buns. And most of these processed party foods are loaded with sugar, salt and plain old crap. They're also void of any nutrients and will just actually make you hungrier throughout the night. So you grab one, you go to the next, you eat more, you eat more. It's a continuous cycle that keeps you binging. So to avoid this, it's not that you have to not eat food, you just need to have healthier options to eat. So I want you to become the healthy savior of the party by bringing your own healthy options for everyone to enjoy. So this could include healthy homemade dips like guacamole and hummus, and I actually showed you a hummus recipe right here. Also, homemade free range hamburgers, a fresh veggie or fruit tray, and even homemade protein muffins or bars. You will be surprised at how many people will be impressed and relieved to see these healthy options available. But promise me one thing guys, just don't brag about them. Nobody wants to hang out with that person at the party that has their nose in the air and is considered that health freak. Simply put the food down on the table and if someone asks you what's in them, tell them. It's that simple. Also, if you're gonna have that hamburger, be creative. Skip the bun and just eat it like a hamburger steak. Load it with healthy toppings like onions, tomatoes, avocados, and spinach. Then for a side, just go with a salad. You can never eat too many vegetables, so fill up your plate with vegetables because they will actually help fill you up so you don't attack that snack table. Now what about dessert? So stick to a refreshing fruit salad like berries, mangoes, watermelon, and pineapples, and just maybe go for one snack that you really have your eye on, but only go for one or maybe two. And if you don't have time to prepare and bring this type of food to the party, simply have a big meal before you go to the party so you go to the party feeling full and content. Now, this will stop you from caving into all those sugar cravings. It's something that I've done and it works like magic. And tip number three, avoid mixing your alcohol with sugary soft drinks, including diet soda and sugar-loaded fruit juice. Now, I'm not telling you that you can't enjoy a beer or a glass of wine or your favorite cocktail. 
just try to moderate how much you have and make healthier cocktails by mixing zero calorie, naturally flavored drinks with my two alcoholic choices, my vodka and tequila. Now natural and low calorie mixers include water, lemon water, club soda, or stevia flavored zero calorie sodas. Now also for you non-drinkers, you're not doing yourself any fat loss favors by drinking soda, diet soda, or fruit juice instead of alcohol. Diet soda is no better for you than regular soda when it comes to weight loss since the overconsumption of artificial sweeteners like sucralose and aspartame and ACE-K can actually increase your hunger so once again you go and attack the snack table. If you don't drink alcohol, it's best to stick with water, lemon water, unsweetened iced tea, or stevia sweetened zero calorie sodas. Now, some of these zero calorie stevia sweetened sodas actually come in beer bottles, so it's a good way to disguise that you're not drinking. I know, it's a freaking shame that you may have to do it just to avoid the peer pressure, and trust me guys, I've been through it too, so I know what it's like. And another hack is you can also enjoy a small amount of 100% fruit juice, just add it to your water to dilute it, it, it's a great way to add some flavor without all the sugar. So bottom line here on partying, remember, it's all about choices. You can still enjoy yourself at parties with your friends. You can still enjoy alcohol and snacks, but it's up to you to just moderate how much you're having and choose to stay active and eat healthier types of foods while you're at the party. So when you follow these tips, guys, you won't blow your momentum by being hung over the next day, which will then ruin your sleep and will lead you to eat more poor food choices the next day and make you miss your workouts. So moderation, people, is key to enjoying your live lean journey while still living your life. Again, as a live leaner, fitness isn't your life, it's just a part of your journey. So there you go, Live Lean Nation. If you're looking for healthy party snack alternatives and even Live Lean approved alcohol cocktails, we share all these delicious and healthy recipe videos with our Team Live Lean group coaching members. So if Jessica and I can still enjoy partying, if our members feel more comfortable partying, it can work for you to click the link in the video description below to join our team today. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep living lean.